Dear readers, you've all been busy paying attention to the endings of your stories and the lessons they teach, but sometimes you may, you may feel stuck and think, I'm not sure what the lesson is. If this happens, I have another tip for you. Sometimes the, find the life lesson, it helps to think about how the character is feeling and why the character feels that way. This can reveal life lessons. Love, Miss Cortez. So we're gonna practice that today with Poppleton. Now we read the first story in Poppleton and let's kind of retell it. And then when we get to the ending, we're gonna think, how does Poppleton feel and why? And I think that's gonna bring us to the life lesson. So if you guys remember, Poppleton was a city pig, but then he decided to move to a house in the country. And he really enjoyed the quiet. He really enjoyed taking naps and peace and quiet. And then he met his neighbor, Cherry Sue. And she was really nice. She was always yelling out her window, Yoo-hoo, Poppleton, would you like some oatmeal? Or Yoo-hoo, Poppleton, would you like toasted cheese? And so Poppleton kept having breakfast, lunch, and dinner with Cherry Sue. But he kind of got sick of it. He really sometimes just wanted to sleep in or stay home and watch TV by himself. And then one day he gets so angry that he sprays Cherry Sue. Mm, and he soaks her. And then he starts feeling really guilty. So that's how he's feeling. He's feeling really guilty, right? Why is he feeling guilty? Well, because he sprayed her, but the reason he sprayed her wasn't because he was feeling guilty. The reason he sprayed her was because he was kind of getting tired of always going and being with her when sometimes he just wanted to be alone. So I'm thinking that what he should have just done to prevent this whole situation just to tell Cherry Sue the truth. Tell her how he was feeling. You know, he didn't have to go over for breakfast every day or dinner every night. He could have said, hey, Cherry Sue, you know what? I think I need a night alone. And then I don't think he would have gotten so angry or so annoyed that he sprayed her. I think he could have avoided the whole situation. So I'm thinking that the life lesson in that first story in Poppleton is to always tell people how you are feeling. Because if he would have just told Cherry Sue how he was feeling, he could have stopped himself from getting so frustrated or annoyed or angry at her and he would have never sprayed her. He would have never hurt her feelings. So the life lesson that we learned from the first chapter in Poppleton is always tell people how you are feeling. Now, did you see how I did that? Did you see how I thought about how Poppleton was feeling? And then I thought about why he feels that way or how he got to feel that way. And that revealed the life lesson, right? Now, I want you guys to try this on your own. I want you guys to be fortune cookie makers in a fortune cookie factory. But instead of cookies, we will put our fortunes or our life lessons in one of our books. So you're gonna take out one of your books that you're reading at home and think, what important life lesson does this story teach? Then you're just gonna take a strip of paper and you're gonna write the life lesson on that strip of paper and you're gonna place it in your book for another reader to find. Maybe you'll find the life lesson the next time you read it. Maybe you have a brother or a sister or a mom or a dad, somebody who when they open that book, they're gonna find that life lesson and then they can be sure to learn that life, that life lesson too. So readers, take out one of your books, take a strip of paper, figure out the life lesson, jot it down, and tuck it away in that book just like I did 
with Poppleton. All right, readers, off you go.